Kia ora. With me today, I have got the award-winning Lady Six joining me again on the show uh, just after the New Zealand tour. Yes. How are you feeling? I'm totally, completely exhausted. <laughs> how Help long? Me. Help me. <laughs> how long were you? <laughs> it's okay. Um, <laughs> how long were you on the tour for? Like, um, so we did 11 shows, uh, but they were just the weekends. I can't yeah. lie, it wasn't a yeah. huge amount of work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a lot of travel, and and we were with at peace, and it's a lot of partying. So I was going to say that would be raucous. That was pretty. Not to mention you give so much on stage as well, like jumping around and being so. Thank you. You, know, you noticed. Someone right noticed. It. I do try my best to if, do if, stuff. If, if, Oh, okay, good. Yeah, okay. Hot out. <laughs> so um, it's kind of interesting because usually, well, the way I usually see it is that people will release an album and then they'll go on tour. Yes. But you've done it a little bit opposite for New Zealand. Yes. Why? <laughs> Why did I do it that way? I think originally the, the thought was let's try out the new songs and see how they go. Yeah. And then, and then we kind of were under pressure in Europe to kind of put out the record quite soon after we finished the tour because they need it for all of this stuff so that next summer we have a good tour over there. So um, so it didn't quite work out the way we wanted to but it didn't really matter because the tour was yeah. incredible. <laughs> I yeah. went to swear then, so the it was <laughs> incredible. Delete. Yeah. Um, but the, the reviews about it have been awesome as well, so you yeah. must be feeling pretty awesome. I feel on top of the world about that. I'm really stoked. Because you just never know, like majority of the set was all brand new songs. And yeah. you know, you just get that like two or three people that are like, play like water, I want <laughs> that one. What about When I Return, the song you know was shapeshifted years ago, you know. Um, well, so the album, it's called Automatic and that is, what is it, after a song? Or it is, is after, after a song, yeah. Okay, cool. After a song and after the idea that we, because majority of the record was made inside the studio spontaneously and there was, we only had one, um, um, pre-made song which was Shine On which is yeah. the single that's out at the moment um, but the rest of the record was really like okay guys let's just go into the studio and sort of go into automatic almost and just sort of be a funnel for the music and let the creativity come through and whatever comes out that's Bam. how it's supposed to be. So you were in Detroit yes. um, and I was, I've been, been doing a bit of research about Detroit actually and I mean I know that heaps of famous artists come from Detroit but I didn't realise like, so you've got the rock thing so you've got the white stripes in there. Totally. Then you've got like P-Funk and totally. all that kind of, then Duke Ellington and... Totally. And, and it goes on and on and on, Detroit and Techno, then, like, like yeah. really the original first coolest techno music came from Detroit and it's very like actually G-Funk street, which mm. is weird because you think techno, you think Germany, you think full <laughs> raver party. Yeah. Um, and also Motown. Let's not right. forget the entire yeah. Motown was built in Detroit. So, so it's such a musically rich city. Is that one of the reasons you went there or that just happened to be where the studio was? That happened to be where Wajid was. So Wajid mm. was the producer that we worked with and he is a Detroit native and yep. he wanted to um, he wanted us to come and use his studio. He wanted right. to record there. He, he felt like it would be a great idea if we could get there. Um, and actually it didn't work out like that much more expensive for us two to go over there as opposed to him one coming over here. Yeah, so, right. Cool. Yeah. So tell like how did that influence your writing? Did it? Or were you in the studio the whole time? We were in the studio <laughs> the whole time. It was like two two week slots and it was um yeah, I think it did influence influence the whole thing. It was really cool, it was really great. It was getting to know Waji, but it was also recording in this sort of um I always say five star studio, but that's not the right, that's not the right lingo. That's yeah. not the right musical lingo. Yeah, totally. I'm a total yeah. musical retard. But um, it was like, uh, well, yeah, we were using this state of the art studio. That's it. And all these amazing people have been through there, like um, D12, like Eminem's whole yeah. like band went through there, but also Janet Jackson and Common and The Roots. And it was very like, you're in a place where hip hop is like, they br live, breathe, eat, hip hop music and yeah. soul music and it's nothing, you know? And we're there, there's two blooming nobodies from New Zealand. Part of the history Happy, though, yeah. that's so and cool. And it just felt like, okay, we're really, this is, we're channeling this, this yeah. is supposed to be. And it was, yeah, it was like peppered, the whole experience was peppered with little stories of like, when Erica Badu came to town and oh, drove a little so scooter bad. and buzzed everyone out because Commons was wearing like knitted beanies and, and they're all like, oh my God, he's changed it because it was when they were together. And yeah. yeah, and all these funny stories about the roots, like smoking 
smoking inside the studio, <laughs> yeah. and then um, and then the, and then the engineer who we worked with as well, Todd, saying to him, you know, there's actually no smoking in the studio, and he was like, well, if there's no smoke in the studio, we're not going to record here, and he's like, okay, okay, okay. You're okay. Not. you smoke, you do whatever you want. Insane, so man. these little stories yeah. happening as well. So it was just um, yeah, it was the full full experience. Right. Well, we're gonna go check out your latest video clip for Shine On. Can you tell me before we go into it about the song? This song is, well, this video uh, is very special. It was made by this guy called Robert Wallace, mm -hmm. and it is a mixture of animation and puppetry. Yeah. And it's super cute. So let's have a look. <laughs> Thanks on Endzone. <laughs> 